This house is almost done. If you want to see inside of the house, you're gonna to have to wait till the next update. The deadline to have the inside of this house complete is 48 hours from now. And so today in about an hour, our interior designer and Leslie are going to come over and start putting furniture in. So I thought it would be fun to take you guys around and do an empty house tour and show you what it looks like inside before all the furniture, the artwork, and all of that goes up. It's a little tricky because there's like 30 people here working on the house and there's ladders and touch up paint and electronics and blinds and all kinds of stuff happening right now. But this is the last chance that we're going to have to see this place before the furniture starts coming in. House tour, let's go check it out. So just off the front door, we're gonna have these beautiful black cabinets that go super high on the ceiling. I love the chandelier and then the texture on the walls or whatever you call that. And then we should have a piano coming in a couple of days. It's gonna go right here in this room. And the piano is something special from some of our YouTube friends, the piano guys. We're buying it from them, one of their pianos that they've used and it has some really cool tech features in it. So that's going to be in here in the next couple of days. This is gonna be a nice entry into the home. And then when you walk out of the piano room, you have this entry room with the wood floors that is just so beautiful in this view that we kind of base the house off of. I don't really even know what Leslie's planning on putting over here. I know that I'm planning on putting a TV right up here. And I still love this fireplace with like the precast stone on it. And I have not helped pick out the furniture in here at all. So it's gonna be a surprise to me what it looks like in here. I think this room is gonna be really pretty and I don't really wanna cover it up with rugs entirely. The next room is the dining room right here. We do have this beautiful, do I dare touch it? Glass chandelier going on in here. And we'll be putting a table right here, which is nice because we can look out of the windows and see the view or see the pool while we're eating. And the kitchen, we have some ladders going on. These lights that are really, really long. They maybe are a little bit too tall. Like I'm six foot two, they're really high. But I guess if you look at the ceilings and how high they are in here, they're like 14 feet tall. And all of our appliances are now in and some of the hardware, which I haven't even shown you guys yet. This drawer right here, oh look. It's a dishwasher. Then there's the sink, and then you come over here. What's this one? Oh look, it's another dishwasher. And our refrigerator, our freezer are right here. We went with uh, this giant Thermador fridge on this side. I really like the lighting that's on here. And then this one right here looks very similar. It's not turned on, but this is the freezer. I don't really understand what all we're gonna put inside of this freezer. I'm kind of wishing we would have done two refrigerators here instead of a freezer and a fridge, but I guess, you know, you gotta have a place to put your ice cream, so it works. This room, while it looks amazing right now, I think with furniture and with it designed, with the artwork on the walls, it's just gonna really make this place look gorgeous. Just off of the kitchen through the hallway, we have this little pantry room right here where we're gonna store lots of macaroni and cheese through all of those shelves. And we've got an appliance right there that I'm not gonna quite show you yet. We're gonna leave that one there and show you for the full unveiling later. Look at the color on this. Gold, silver. Look at this. We've got some stone that goes up the wall in here. This hallway going to the master bedroom is also one of my favorites. I love the hardware that's on here. And uh, check out this cover. Shoes, hats, all going inside of here. Really nice use of the space. Window at this end window at this end that matches, long hallway. I don't think we're doing anything special like rugs inside of here. Time to walk inside of the master. We have this double door that's right here and then this is just an open entry when you first walk in. Right now, no bed, no artwork. We have a few lights that are on the wall that I guess the artwork will go right under there on that side and that side. This giant piece of glass is for the shower. We don't even have our mirrors in yet, but this shower is just really something else. It is something so beautiful. Oh look, hey look, bathtub, the bathtub is in. And uh, check out these notches in the tile up here. So the glass is gonna go all the way through and around that and then come down to this. We have so many shower heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 11 shower heads in one shower. That's something else. We've got lighting right here in this little cabinet and then we've got two touch screens that are just right here inside of the shower. One of my favorite rooms is also the closet. Giant closet, they're just putting in the carpet right now. It's not quite done. Um, hi guys. The mirror actually opens and there's more storage behind it. Oh my gosh, how many clothes are we gonna be able to fit inside of here? This thing is massive. 
I love the 50s diner type floor inside of here. We've got some appliances. Honestly, I don't even remember that we bought these ones. I guess they're Maytag. It's the first time I've opened them. Okay. This is for sure the biggest laundry room that we've ever had the whole time that we've been married for 16, 17 years. Leslie deserves that because she chooses to do a lot of the laundry. I've offered to do the laundry, but Leslie is just a saint and she does it all the time for our house and for our family. Probably because if I did it, I would ruin all the clothes. I really think it's a nice touch to have the different patterns inside of the rooms. We got some comments by some people that they didn't like that we did different tile in every room and that that was a bit ridiculous. There's even another YouTuber that made a video that was like, you don't ever want to make different tile in different rooms. Like, and they took a clip from our video and put it in there and I'm like, really? What? What's up with that? This is a custom home. This pattern looks amazing and so does this one. And so it's kind of fun to go into the different bathrooms and see the differences. No mirror on here yet, but cute lights inside of here. I like the way they did the wall and oh my gosh, wallpaper. I just barely noticed that right now. Very cool wallpaper up there and then we have the pattern on the floor on the bottom and um, some gold that I guess ties in the wallpaper on the top. Lincoln's room is still getting worked on right now. The entire unit up here is getting worked on. I think we're gonna be putting some lights inside of there possibly. Definitely one of my favorite rooms with that ceiling. Guest room also is getting some carpet put in right now. Nice chandelier up here. Our guests should be happy in this room. I think they'll be comfortable. It's looking really good. I'm not quite sure again what the design is gonna look like inside of there. All right, here's London's room. Carpet is going in right now. We have the chandelier up here. Some nice cute lights have go are going in over there. Really, really cute room. She deserves a really nice cute room. She's a very sweet girl. Let's head into the bathroom here. Oh, the toilet is in. Okay, there's the toilet. This is actually a first for me. I wanted to see how far the toilet sticks out and it's not that far past. It's not even past it. And then the shower is just right here. It's all part of it. I would imagine we're doing glass right here, but that's just not installed yet. Those gold shower heads. Here's Claire's room. The carpet is going in. I'm pretty sure we're doing some nice wallpaper. The light is in right now. I definitely like this light fixture. Claire can't decide if she likes it or not. She may not like that one as much. I think it's incredibly cute though. She has a nice view of the pool. It is so cold out here today. It's like 25 degrees and it was 50 mile an hour winds last night. But let's go into the studio and check it out. The what's inside studio is coming together. We have this carpet. It's almost like a rug that's on the floor, but it's carpet and it hasn't been set yet to where it needs to exactly go, but that should help dampen the sound a little bit when we're recording. We've got the really cool sign that's up here. Some of the appliances are going in in our little section here. No TVs or speakers yet. Some new cabinets are getting installed right here for the subwoofer. Ever since we made our first video back in Lincoln was in second grade, we always had this black dining room table that we used. And it's kind of big and it's probably not ideal, but I think we're gonna use it and just have it be part of the studio and that's where we'll film. We need to get our lights in here, our cameras. I might put something down from the ceiling. And then we walk down the hallway and the bathroom. You can hear the wind coming through the door. Big ghost. I think this is the only door in the house that whistles and makes that loud noise. The glass is in on the bathroom. I love the flooring in here. It's an interesting sink. It's really shallow, but very, very wide. And then we should be getting a very nice mirror right here at some point. And then also when people come in, they can leave their jackets on the little coat rack right here. Pretty nice when we actually do have employees that are here. We don't have any that live here in St. George. So I know that we're gonna be looking for some people. So I should put more online. I'm just like throwing this out there right now just because we're talking about it. Maybe somebody that has graphic design work that can help us like with thumbnails, maybe some animations within videos, and then also building websites because we have a few websites for some of the merch that we're coming out with or that we've come out with, our water bottle. And then it would be great if we found someone that is really good at filming and has a cinematic eye that can fly a drone, knows how to do proper lighting, maybe you have a film background. It'd be so great to have somebody holding the camera on the side angle and just helping us on some of the shoots that we have. And if you can edit, even better if you can do both things because this room right here is our editing room. Really fast Wi-Fi is going to be connected to all of the computers so it's a gigabit upload and download. So yeah, we might be looking for a few people. It's just, we live in a very small town. And so sometimes it's hard to find people that are 
experienced enough. I should probably wait and do like an official posting for a job posting, but if you guys think you're qualified, you really do have experience, like send me your YouTube channel. Some of the websites you built, I don't know, hit me up. Sorry, this is turning into like a, a job thing. Woo, it is so cold out here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do inside of the hallway. A rug, a carpet, a little dresser along the side. I don't know, we've got more room for art that's up here. The last room, the last couple of rooms. The metal railing has been painted black and we have the gold down here, accents on the side. The carpet is going in, so you'll have nice carpet going up the stairs. And then once you get up here, TV should be here. This might be some sort of a game room, bonus room. I don't really know what Leslie has planned. Oh, and then, have I showed you the wall beds? Gosh, there's so much I don't even know if I've shown you. Check this out. Let's see if we can figure out how to open it. Look, look at that. Full size bed right there for guests. Boom, three of them. Boom, boom, boom. Kids can all sleep there. This house is empty, and this is the emptiest that we're ever going to see it. This carpet should be done by today. The furniture is gonna start coming in the next couple of hours. Things are changing, and there are some very detailed, specific videos that we wanna do about some of the choices that we did. The hardware, the bathroom stuff, the blinds. There's a lot of things that we put tons of thought into it, and we chose some of the best options that we could find out there. Even the audio and the speakers. That one's a really good one. Last room, one of the most important rooms. The garage. Oh, look at this garage. The floor has been epoxied and it's like a black, gray, and white color inside of here, so it looks really, really nice. We have three garage doors. This one over here has an extra high ceiling. They're incredibly quiet and the motor is right there along the side. It's not right here in the middle. It's so windy outside, it's probably gonna get windy, but look at that. It's kind of cool that you don't have the chain going up the side of it. And I haven't even showed you guys this yet. Tesla charger, signed by the man, Elon Musk. And oh look, another Tesla charger. And oh look, another Tesla charger. Okay, so there's our empty house tour. I mean, as empty as we can get it. There's people working everywhere. There's ladders, there's carpet that's getting put on right now, but um, we've got a deadline. We've got to have this thing done by Wednesday and I, I haven't decided yet whether I want to tell you exactly why we have a deadline. So we might tell you after or during, I'm not sure yet, but it's for a really, really cool reason. And uh, I can't tell you yet. I can't tell you, but stay tuned and we're gonna explain more, I'm sure, in a later video. This house is coming together and it's our first custom home that we've ever built. I'm pretty happy with it. So let me know your thoughts on the empty house tour and what things do you want to see from the house when it has furniture. Hopefully we don't disappoint you too much, but uh, it's coming. Thanks for watching. What's gonna happen if we get rid of all of our Teslas? We're just gonna have these wall chargers on the wall or if we decide to go back to gas powered cars. This is a mirror, I have a mirror. That's cool. Boom, boom, boom.